Hello, Andrew Glazer here from GlazerTutoring.com, and today we'd like to teach you how to balance aluminum plus oxygen yields aluminum oxide. All right, so first step, locate that yield sign, just draw a vertical line straight down. That'll help us differentiate then the left-hand side from the right-hand side. Next is to then just write in these little lines. That'll uh, let us know where the location of the coefficients will be, where we can start to balance this. All right, then work with the first element you see. So I see aluminum. I have one aluminum on the left, and I have two aluminums on the right. Remember, the subscript of that element will tell you the number of atoms of that element. So basically what's happening here is you have one aluminum on the left, one, and somehow that has to equal two aluminums on the right. Now, obviously, one doesn't equal two, but maybe one times something, okay? I'm always going to add the coefficient to the lower side. One times something will equal two. So x should just be equal to two, and that's the number you're going to now plug in here. Okay, that's how simple it is. So just erase that, and plug it in a little two. All right, then what we're gonna do is balance the oxygen. So you have two oxygens on the left, so write that down. And then you have three now oxygens on the right. Now obviously two does not equal three, right? But maybe two times something will equal three, okay? So I always place the coefficient on the lower side. So that's why I'm placing the x, you know, two times uh, x here on the, on the left. And what you're going to find out is now this becomes a fraction, which I know we hate fractions, but we're going to work with them because it actually makes it easier. So now this becomes three halves, okay? So this is now technically balanced, okay? This is technically balanced. Two oxygens on the left, two oxygens on the right. Three halves times two is a total of three, right? Three over two times two is going to be three. Right, the twos cancel. So you get three auctions on the on the left, and you have three auctions on the right. So that's balanced, but you cannot leave it in fractional form. Okay. The reason though why I work with a fraction is because whatever this denominator is will let us know what we should multiply now each coefficient by. Okay. So we're going to multiply each coefficient by two. There's a one here. If you don't plug in a coefficient, it's assumed to be a one. All right. So you're going to multiply that by two. So here, two times two is going to be a total of what? Four, right? So that's the value there. Two times three halves. Well, we actually already did that. Just That's just a total of three. And then two times one is obviously a total of two. Now go back and check everything. Four aluminum and four aluminum, right? Two times two is four. Six oxygen and now six oxygen, right? Two times three is six. Done. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our website, by the way. We got thousands of problems out there. We're also creating a website for you uh, for tons and tons of practice problems with solved solutions. All right, we're really trying to help you through your coursework. All right, we want to take the stress out of your life. Take care.